奥様は今朝から虫の居所が悪い黙ってうなずいていればいいものを余計なことを言うからカノン君 Thanks, Cannon. You're a real help. Cannon was suddenly there. His footsteps were always quieter than a cat's, and he never left any trace of his presence. He probably couldn't, could have stood there forever, and she still wouldn't have noticed him. The expression on Cannon's face was one of hatred. He made that expression for Shannon, who didn't know how to do it herself. Oh, that's a little rough. <laughs> well, that's just, that's just playing smart. さっきの掃除もそうだった。見ていたから知ってる。本当の意味での掃除なんかしてないんだよ。丁寧に掃除する姉さんに規制してるだけの最低なやつだ。そんな汚い言葉を使っては駄目よ。汚い言葉は<
Magister of the Night on Rokinjima. She was gracious to those who respected her, but she would surely curse those who made light of her. I'd be cursed to hell and back. <laughs> it was in Shannon's character not to neglect rules and beliefs such as those. So she thought of the portrait of her master, her other, other master as that person herself, and always treated it carefully, treasuring it. And it had become part of her daily routine to tell the witch, who only exists inside the portrait, the secrets of her heart. She was furniture. Furniture doesn't complain. Cannot complain. So she had no right to speak her mind about her difficult days. She had no right to open her mouth and say those words. So she at last, at least spoke her mind inside her heart. She spoke her mind inside her heart using words she couldn't say aloud, and protested to the formless witch. Of course the witch didn't answer. She didn't console and didn't. she didn't laugh at all. Shannon could only interp the, interpret that silent as she liked, as though the witch was responding agreeably. Ah, oh, not again. <laughs> God, I would love it if the witch's portrait literally just said that. Not a fucking again, I swear to God, can you stop bitching for one day? God, I would fucking die laughing. As Shannon wiped the dust from the witch's portrait, she spoke that inside her heart. だから恋をするしかくなどないかもしれませんでもだったらどうして恋をすることのできる心などお与えになったのでしょうか At that point, Shannon held back her tears for a moment. The sound of rain, which had started falling along with the chill air in the reception hall, made her feel as though her so shabbiness had increased another level. Fucking shabbiness. Then why do you have a heart? I mean, going back to the where she says, like, oh, do I have a right to love or whatever. Does anyone have a right to love? I mean, do they? I mean, you have a right to happiness, and some people will interpret that as love as well. But do you actually have a right to it? Because, I mean... That's an interesting question. I don't know. Maybe because you're a human? <laughs> nope. 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 Leaving. Kagu <laughs> Out. Get out of here. I don't want you showing up here. The witch that never answered her laughed, answered, and laughed. <laughs> What's in my imagination? I hope to God it is! So I can call you crazy. <laughs> Was I hearing things? No, that's wrong. After all, the next words became a voice and I could hear them. Not with my heart, but with my ears. <laughs>紀元前の昔から探求を続けてきた古代ギリシャ人たちは風、火、水、土の四つで世界の説明を試みたという。その後も数千年かけて人間たちはその四つに様々な元素を加え、五代、六代、七代、八代、十二代と。What the fuck are the twelve elements? しかし and you can't fucking make this up, it's, it fucking starts to storm outside. Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god! Can the real world stop it? Jesus 
swear to God. Oh my God. This is ridiculous. P.S. Good music, by the way. But this is fucking ridiculous. Get out of here. Shannon fearfully turned around. I swear to God, I do not need you here. Right there, she existed. Leave, please. Go away. I don't want you here right now. Not as an illusion, but as a reality. The contrast made by the lightning made it clear that this was no mere daydream. So out of here. The witch of the portrait elegantly held a golden pipe in her mouth and giggled. To her mouth. She laughed at the ignorance that causes humankind's thoughts to stray far from the most simple answer. <laughs> Who's that man? Shannon lost any words to speak. She thought that when first meeting an unknown guest, her first word should be <laughs> ask that person's name. But without saying anything, Shannon knew this person's name, so she refrained. No, surely it would be the greatest disrespect for someone who lived or worked on this island to ask this woman her name. After all, she was the other master of this island, besides Kinzo. <laughs> the witch giggled at how Shannon's reaction didn't betray her expectations. Shannon realized that she had met with a being that mustn't be met with, and she took a step backwards. That's where the wall and the portrait were so even, as she gazed at the witch, and the witch's portrait was touching her back. Sure. Is it though? <laughs> I can see where you could draw that conclusion. Though. No matter how much you fill it, it'll never be full. You could put your finger at the bot where the hole is, and then fill it up, but you know. Is it? I mean, I don't know if there's any way to actually know if that's what they experienced, because, uh, yeah. I don't think they had a really accurate time, uh, or measures of what really happened that far in the past. Hey, I'd be fucking leaving. I'm like, yeah, I don't need time for this. Not. I really just want to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> or I just ignore her. Just keep going about my day. Yeah, that's nice. Have a nice day.
Without waiting for a reply from Shannon, Beatrice laughed pleasantly for a while. This meaning of those words surprised Shannon even more than the witch's sudden appearance. <笑>それに見合うだけの対価を要求するところだが。それに、そなたは我らへの礼を欠かさず、今日までよく尽くした。I fucking hate that there's a storm going on when she shows up. That fucking pisses me off. That pisses me off. Why is it trying to make it reality? It's too fucking real. No one told me buying and playing this game would actually change reality. Ugh. Normally, Shannon would have been shocked and struck dumb by this seemingly impossible guest. However, almost as though she was already under the witch's spell, Shannon responded. Fucking bullshit, man. Yes, of course. Shannon almost said that without thinking, but held back with her last bit of common sense. After all, this is a witch. A sinister being. The witch Beatrice is clear trying to sif slip in through the cracks in my heart and take my take me prisoner. That sort of temptation which so many fairy tale picture books warned me about when I was young is right in front of me now. Fuck that shit, why not? Sh prove to me that you're real. <laughs> わらわは確かにそなたらが意味嫌う魔女像から離れはせぬ。だが、わらわは敬う者には好意を返す。それは人間も同じであろう。そのように身構えられて好意を返せる人間もまたおらぬと思うがな。失礼しました。そんなつも
Let me guess, she's the one that had to break the mirror, so I guess that was Shannon. Okay, so it was Shannon breaking it. It was quite a suspicious request. Shannon didn't know the details, but anything stored inside a shrine would have to be something sacred. And she wants me to break it. Why would a witch ask a human for help instead of doing it herself? There was no need for Shannon to speak her thoughts aloud. Beatrice responded to Shannon's reasonable doubt before Shannon could give her an answer. Oh, of course it does. Okay. Not very effectively, but you can drink it. I'd imagine a fork would be better, though, with getting out of a prison. I don't know, I could be wrong, though. Because it would probably be easier to break as well, so I don't know. There must be a reason why everyone uses spoons. Well, actually, a fork would be even better with that because you can really just get in there and really rend out the eye with a fork. あの<笑> That's what I'd shoot for. What? Exactly. When she heard Shannon's words, Beatrice realized for the first time that her expectations had been betrayed. I don't want it to happen now. なら我の今日までと同じ日々が明日も明後日も続こうぞ。That's okay. cool. Shannon felt overwhelmed by an eerie illusion. The mirror probably existed for the purpose of restraining the witch. So if Shannon broke it, the person who stood it to gain was supposedly the witch herself. And yet Shannon felt somehow that she had to do it for her own sake. It felt like some premise had been switched around. Okay. 
笑えば我は She gone now? The witch was speaking. She was pressing Shannon, saying she must break the mirror if she ever wanted to be united with George. It was a declaration that Shannon's feelings would never never be brought to fruition unless she broke it. But you asked for it. <laughs> I Oh, uh, was it after the date, though, that she broke it? Because it was kind of weirdly put together. Was it before then? Like, right before then she ended up going on a date with George. Was it really such an easy thing to do? No, it certainly wasn't. To Shannon, who was burning with infatuation and worried about love, being tempted constantly and eternally with a way out was truly a cruel trial. Of course not. そなたの思い人が自ら君。意味がわかる you're terrible. <笑><笑><笑> Can you tell me about her? <laughs> because probably not. Though it doesn't mean I wouldn't want to meet her because... Who knows? But there's a difference between more suitable and him actually liking her though. Just because someone's more suitable doesn't mean that they actually enjoy him. I mean, just, it doesn't matter though. I mean, I don't care theoretically if they're unignorant, incompetent, or uncultured. I, I, that really wouldn't bother me. Well, I mean, maybe like the uncultured part. Maybe, but, eh. Incompetent, no, that's fine. Ignorant, you can teach someone. 
Like that just changes over time. I mean, you're clearly manipulating her. Yo, is this fucking Ava? You really don't need the lightning effects at this point. <laughs> Though it could be that she is just imagining this, like reliving that. I could definitely see that. I think that's a little over the top there, lady. <laughs> I think you can stop that. Because I think it's definitely possible that she's just imagining this meeting happening as a form of, like, reflection on herself of what's happened. 